Hi, I'm Elliot from solarfeedintariff.co.uk and this is part three of our series explaining solar energy um, in an understandable way um, so that people can understand how the clean energy cashback scheme can work for them. Now, one of the interesting things about solar energy is that it's a new field and we're going to see huge jumps in technology over the next few years. Now, solar panels are the most expensive part of a solar electricity system, making up around two-thirds of the upfront costs. Most solar panels, sometimes called photovoltaic panels, are made from 50 or so solar cells, which are thin slices of silicon crystals, specially treated so that they can turn sunlight into electricity. It is basically the same process used to make electronic chips, which is fine for making fo tiny things that go inside your computer, but quite expensive if you're trying to cover a small fraction of the Earth. Therefore, a phenomenal amount of research has gone into trying making this well, cheaper and more efficient. And now we're seeing the production of something called thin film solar cells. And this is where you start with a flat panel of material, such as glass, coat the entire thing in a series of super thin electronic layers that convert the sunlight into electricity. Now this process is much cheaper than the traditional silicone panels, however currently they are not as efficient at producing electricity. When we see the feed-in tariff come in in April, it's likely that most people will be fitting the uh, silicone panels to their roofs. Um, however, we must remember that over the next 10 years or so, we don't know which type of solar energy will actually become the dominant. You might find that this new thin film can be used much easier over whole building projects. It could be more cost effective and we might see it used in the third world more um, in ways of producing electricity for villages that otherwise wouldn't be connected to a national grid. The important thing is that progress is being made all the time. Uh, the thin film panels are being improved and the cost of even normal solar panels is currently being reduced. Innovation in all aspects having solar energy means that having a solar energy system will become effective, cheaper and more profitable year on year. And government support like that we're seeing hopefully come through in April from the UK government and that we've already seen in countries such as Spain and Germany means that industry will continue to research solar energy and try and improve how efficiently and how profitably it can work. Thank you very much.